going on everybody? It's your boy Tanner Wyman of Barbarian Bite and today I'm going to be showing you guys five fat loss hacks that you need to be applying right now. Let's get straight into it. Item number one, you guys need to begin preparing yourself your fruits and vegetable snacks and deli and nuts and seeds and meals and prepare all this stuff and put it in your fridge and put it into your cupboard. The reason for this, incredibly simple. We're in the most pressed and busy times of our lives. Our phones are going off. Your family's asking you to do this, that, and the third. Your friends are over here. You got work, you got school, you got a million things to manage, and you will never have enough time to eat healthy unless you prepare beforehand. Because if you don't, what's gonna happen is you're gonna go onto the road, you're gonna start going to the McDonald's, you're gonna get the subway, but then you're gonna throw in two cookies there, and then you're stop at the gas station, get the bag of Doritos and the beer nuts and all this junk food and monster energy drinks and Red Bulls, and what's gonna happen is you're gonna wind up over consuming by several hundred calories every single day. The best way to prevent this that I have personally used and I get all my clients to use is to prepare with Ziploc bags and Tupperwares and put this stuff in your fridge and prepare meals and prepare snacks and put them in your cupboards and prepare, prepare is the big thing. And this is what's gonna help to save you hundreds of calories every single day, thousands of calories every single week, tens of thousands of calories every single year which will convert into dozens and dozens of pounds of fat that we all know you don't want. Item number two, start simply. Don't try to be the guy that goes, I have to get in shape and I'm gonna do this right now. I'm gonna start training five times per week. I'm gonna to go to the gym for an hour and a half after work. I'm gonna start waking up at 5.30 a.m. to go do a 10 mile run. I'm also gonna start going on a ketogenic diet. I'm gonna put myself into a 1,000 calorie deficit of a crazy, crazy diet. I got this. Monday, it all starts. And let me tell you all how that always works out. Out of 100 people, 99 of them go and they do it for two days. By the second day, the end of the second day, they're like, I, I don't even know if I can continue to do this. I quit, I'm done, I don't, this is not for me. Being in shape is not for me. And then after about two or three days or a week or however long it takes them, they realize they still have the fat and they still need to try and attack and they still need to try and lose it. So they pick up the exact same pace that they just failed at before and they reattempt it. They do this several times, continuing to try way too much, failing, continue to try way too much and fail. Just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Can't remember what the definition of that was, but I think you know what I'm talking about. There's literally only about one in 100 people that can actually maintain that. And if you think that you're one of those one in 100, I will tell you this, you are most likely wrong. So instead, what I recommend to do, and what I personally did when I first started, was start so simply that you cannot mess it up. Start training like two to three times per week, doing like 20 to 30 minute little workouts. In addition, just add in like one cup of fruits and one cup of vegetables into your diet every single day. Manage this, maintain this for like two weeks. After it's become habit, that's when you can start to add on the next level. You know, maybe I'm gonna put in five to 10 minutes of cardio after each and every single workout. Now I'm gonna start to add in maybe a protein shake uh, at the end of each and every single workout as well. And you slowly start stacking on these little habits after you've managed to master the first ones. Hack number three, and I would like to thank today's video sponsor, New Air, for the air fryer. Now what exactly is an air fryer? It's exactly as the name suggests, okay? You're gonna be able to get healthy cooking done with oilless air fryer. You know what I'm trying to say right here. So as opposed to soaking all of your favorite fried foods with gallons and gallons of oils, they're gonna pack in hundreds of calories into every single meal. What you can do instead is cook it with the air fryer. Now not only is the air fryer absolutely incredible and it's gonna save you hundreds of calories in all of your favorite foods, but this also comes with an awesome recipe book with air frying recipes that you guys can begin doing right now. Monkey bread definitely sounds like one of my favorites, so if anyone tries this, be sure to let me know. Because I'll tell you this, in order to achieve the physique that you want, it's not about foregoing absolutely everything you love and never having it again. What it's about is actually making compromises with your diet, and that's exactly what this air fryer allows you to do. Now, if you guys wanna get your hands on this air fryer, then be sure to click the link I'm gonna have down in the description, and also be able to use our code right here, it'll also be down in the description, to get yourself an awesome discount be sure to get your hands on this air fryer. It is absolutely incredible. I really enjoyed trying it out for the sweet potato fries. They came out incredible and were actually so close to tasting like real sweet potato fries, I don't think I will ever go back to the real ones ever again. Not to mention, I'm saving hundreds of calories every time I eat sweet potato fries because of the air fryer. Hack number four, and this is something I personally use and I've been using for years, and it keeps me shredded and helps me to lose fat all the time, and that is to fat check yourself about three, maybe four times every single day. Now what fat checking is, is very simple. You pinch your belly fat about an inch away from your belly button. You feel how much fat that you have there. You pinch it, you pull it out from your torso, and you let it flick back at your body. What happens there is you get to witness how much your fat actually jiggles. This is actually incredibly motivating to get you to actually want to commit to the workouts that you have for that day or to commit to eating healthy and not eating all that bad food because once you witness this thing jiggle, that's when you go, oh man, I'm 
no, I'm not letting this happen. And that's when you go ham on your workouts. And that's when you actually commit to doing all the things that you need to do in order to actually continue to lose the fat. It's very motivating and it keeps your mind consistently focused on the goal at all times throughout the day. Typically, I'll do it right when I wake up once at lunch, once at dinner, and then once again right before I fall asleep. This keeps my mind engaged and consistently focused on the goal at hand. Trust me, that defeat that you feel when you realize how fat you are, because most people are living in la-la land and they don't realize that they're gaining a lot of fat until it's like four weeks way too late, once you're in this realistic position, that's when you can start to attack the fat when it slowly starts to mount up. And that's also what can allow you to keep consistent with what you need to do every single day to help you to lose tons and tons of fat. Hack number five, you need to start attaching negative consequences to you eating that extra cupcake or getting that smoothie or eating a whole box of pizza or skipping your workout and hanging out with your friends. As opposed to thinking about, you know, how good it's going to taste and how much you really want it right now and how great you're going to feel and how much relaxation you're going to get. As opposed to thinking about the positive outcomes of doing these things that are going to stand in the way of your physical goals, you need to realize the negative consequences of doing each one of those things. So whether that be eating that whole extra box of pepperoni pizza and packing an extra 1,000 to 1,500 calories, you need to realize that that's probably going to result in you going to the beach next week or taking your shirt off in front of somebody and feeling self-conscious. Or when you try and put on that favorite pair of pants of yours and the waistline no longer fits and it's just too tight and your love handles start pouring over, your belly fat starts to hang over, or when it comes to skipping your workout, how you're going to feel the next day knowing that you gave up on yourself or you quit. And then obviously as well, the negative repercussions on your physique because you're no longer burning those calories that you need to. By attaching the negative consequences to those good things and not just focusing on the benefit of having your favorite food or the benefit of relaxing because you get to skip your workouts. Think about the negative outcome of it and this will allow you to consistently stick with all of your diet and your workout requirements on a daily basis. So there you guys go. That concludes today's five fat loss hacks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite. Was it number one, two, three, four, five? I don't even remember which one is which right now. I've recorded this video so many times. If you guys enjoyed the video, then be be sure to give your boy a like down below and also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you will not want to miss. Thank you so much for joining me guys. I'll see you all in the next video.